Hi, my name is Ophir Gabe, bringing you another QuickBooks Online tutorial. And today I wanted to go over how to add an asset to your company's balance sheet. Um, so I have a brand new QuickBooks company file open. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our chart of accounts. You do that by clicking, by clicking the gear icon and then clicking chart of accounts under the settings section and we're going to want to create a new account you do that by clicking the new button and for this example we're going to assume that we're buying a truck so um, that's going to be categorized as a fixed asset and then we're going to put it under vehicles for detail type and we're just going to call it truck. Uh, if you have multiple trucks, you're going to want to uh, differentiate the different types of trucks. So you could add like uh, truck number one, truck two, or the, the make and model if you want. Okay, um, and let's just save this. And also another thing is if you have if you're gonna be buying multiple trucks or multiple properties if this is a real estate holding company, uh, you could create a sub account and then have trucks under uh, vehicles um, uh, or so, something like that. Um, but for now, let's just go with this. We'll save it. Okay, there we go. Uh, you see trucks as a as a fixed asset on our chart of accounts. That's now we're good to go. Um, another thing we're gonna another account that we're gonna have to add is depending on how we're paying for this um, truck, we're gonna have to add either uh, like uh, an equity account for capital contribution if we're paying for this out of um, if the shareholders are, are buying this this uh, if the business owner is buying this this truck or um, some kind of loan payable uh, liability account if we're getting a loan to, to pay for this truck or uh, both of them if it's going to be a mix uh, so uh, let me just go through and uh, do one of each So let's let's create an owner's equity account. And we'll create a loan account. It's going to be a long-term liability. Uh, long-term is more than one year. So anything that's current means that it's it's going to be paid within one year. So uh, Oh, no, it's payable. That's fine. Okay, so we created three accounts: one for the truck, one for a loan, and one for uh, owner's equity. Now, the next step would be to record the purchase of the truck. Um, let me just open up a balance sheet really quickly so that I could show you what's happening behind the scenes. Okay, as you see, there's nothing on our balance sheet right now. Uh, I, I just want to record a, um, a deposit so that we have at least some cash in, on our books. And uh, we, don't, we don't have a bank account yet because this is a brand new file. So I'm just going to create a generic bank account called checking. Okay. Awesome. So uh, we're just going to assume that we started this bank account with uh, $50,000 uh, from um, as a, co a capital contribution from the owners. So $50,000, save and close. I'm 
let's refresh our balance sheet. Let's uh, run this balance sheet for year to date. Okay, there we go. So now we have $50,000 in the checking account and $50,000 in owner's equity. Perfect. I'm going to duplicate this tab so that we can have the, the balance sheet easily accessible. Okay, now we're ready to buy our truck. So we're going to go into, um, we're going to assume that we're writing a check to, to buy this truck and we're purchasing it um, from our checking account. So we go to write check. We choose the payee. We don't have any payees, so we're just going to create one uh, ABC truck sales. All right, there you go. Okay, and um, we're going to use an account for this, and the account, as you probably already can guess is going to be our truck account. And we're going to assume that we're buying the truck for $15,000. Everything looks good, the date's fine. Save and close. Okay. So now, if you look at, at our balance sheet, if we refresh this, you'll see that the $15,000 was taken out of our checking account and uh, we have now a truck on our balance sheet um, for the amount of $15,000. Now let's go through another example where uh, we're not buying the truck um, for, for uh, cash, we're not paying for it uh, completely, we're going to take out a loan. Uh, so we're, we're basically we're going to put a down payment on the truck and then we're going to finance the rest of it. So let me just go back to that check. So this was the, the original purchase. I want to delete this and because we're, we're going to create a new transaction where we're assuming that we're doing the down payment method and we're financing it. So if we go back to our balance sheet, you'll see that we the we still have fifty thousand dollars now and fifty thousand in owner's equity. So we didn't we didn't buy a truck yet. Okay, we're doing this uh, all over. Now we're financing it. So uh, same same thing. We'll go to check. Uh, we're buying it from the same vendor, and then. We're going to buy the truck. The amount is going to be 15000 Okay. But we're going to finance it this time. So we're financing, let's say we're going to finance 12000 and we're paying $3,000 as a down payment. So this is how you're going to set this up. We're going to set it up as a check because we're cutting a check to truck sales, ABC truck sales for $3,000 and then we're going to finance the rest of it. So you enter the, the full amount that you're paying for the truck uh, including the financing. So $15,000 is the cost and then uh, underneath that we have our notes payable this is going to be our financing amount. So we're assuming that we're financing 80%. So that 80% is um, $12,000. So you enter that in as a negative number. That's very important that, that you remember that. You, so once you do that, you'll see that the net amount, the total left over, is going to be the $3,000, which is our down payment amount that we're, we're paying uh, ABC truck sales and this is we're paying it out of our checking account so that's accurate so you just uh, that's how you record it
uh, let's save and close and then let's go back to our balance sheet and then you guys could pause this video right now just to kind of um, well I already I already pulled it up but I wanted you to pause the video to see if you could figure out the accounting that's going to happen behind the scenes before uh, you see it but as you as you can see now we had uh, the three thousand dollars pulled out of the checking account for the deposit on the uh, for the down payment on the truck uh, we have our full value of the truck the fifteen thousand on the books and now we have notes payable a uh, liability on the books for twelve thousand dollars that's the financing on on the truck so that's how you record it um, the next step would be to to record payments and we could also add, you know do some depreciation on the truck after um, a period of time um, and I'll release that I'll show you how to do that in uh, the next video so if you found this video useful uh, or helpful, you know, just please like the uh, the video. Uh, let me know. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel to see more uh, videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.